My name is Michael Stone. I'm a, a father of Matthew Stone, who has been involved with Hatties now for, oh, gee whiz, at least uh, 15 years, I guess. It's been about that long. Well, he's uh, going to be turning 28, as a matter of fact, tomorrow. And first 13 years, whenever he was still living at home, come to discover very early on in his life, whenever he turned about four months, um, broke into seizures. Began to discover very quickly that he was going to consume much energy and much time, which is what began to happen. His official diagnosis is a thing called Lennox-Gastaut syndrome, which is a real sort of rare and provocative form of having a seizure disorder with the profound mental retardation. It was just uh, eating me up, I guess is the way people would say it now. It became a thing that just consumed my time, my energy. Uh, everything became preoccupied around Matthew. At that point, I was realizing that um, the family just wasn't going to have a life other than taking care of Matthew. But uh, I had heard of Hattie's, and so I contacted Hattie's is what it is. And right off the bat, we decided that probably the, the most workable thing was going to be able to consider a foster home. I am Betty McCray, and a foster parent for Matthew and Serena. I've been a foster parent for about four years. I have had this in mind since I was a little girl. I knew that I was gonna one day become a community servant. At a certain age, I just decided it was time to fulfill my dream. What, what made me choose foster placement rather than any of the other options that we discussed very simply was is that I realized I was going to be able to be much more involved that way, especially once I heard that the home that we were initially considering was very local to us. So the foster home was a feeling of it felt comfortable that way, I think is what made it easy that way. When I first met Michael, I felt very comfortable with him. So that's one uh, quality I like about him. We, we fell in love with Betty immediately. There was just a charm and a gentleness about her and a devotion that just uh, lurched out of her just by sharing. She took an immediate interest in Matthew. Uh, we felt very comfortable just being there. We call Mr. Matt the cool guy. He's just a cool one. He has, I'm telling you, he has the best laughter you can imagine. He is a gentleman. He's cool, calm, and composed. And you will love him. He's, he's lovable. Oh, the coolest thing about Serena is her laughter, the gesture. She communicates with gestures and like, she verbalizes and you will know how Serena feels if you really get to know her. Each of those verbalizations, you can tell what it means. I, uh, I love them. <laughs> I love them. They're, they're my children. I love them. Yeah. I do feel very supported by Hattie Lalam. And uh, they've really given me the courage, the momentum. It's more like we are a teamwork working together for the mutual benefit of Matthew, Serena, and us as well. We gain from one another. I feel included. I feel free to come and go. I feel comfortable that if something was really going not well, that I could contact somebody and we're going to talk about it. 
And if something um, unexpected came up that I needed to reach someone off hours or at weird times, whatever else, I feel real comfortable. I'm going to dial those numbers, and I think it, something would be handled very, very quickly. So it's been it's been good to have that support. Again, it's it feels it feels as though I have an extended family. I've learned a lot about life, about human nature, how people are, and uh, I sure appreciate you know, having Matthew and Serena giving me that part of life. Hattie Lalum is one of the greatest and the best.